Uh, I want to thank everybody back home for being at the convention this time. And uh, I want to tell you that uh, we appreciate the support that you've given us while we've been over here. I've read the governor's initiatives and uh, very pleased with what the governor is putting into his package this year. I think it's going to help out the deployed soldiers in a, in, in a great way in the future, as well as the soldiers that are a member of the Minnesota Army National Guard back home. And I want to thank each and every one of you for attending the conference. And uh, not sure how many of you are there, but uh, we would have been there this year if we would have been home. As you know, we got extended for a little bit extra time and uh, we're going forward with that. Personally, at the association, I, I would like to see the association contact a, a uh, personal family member that uh, their soldier is deployed overseas over here. Ask them, is there anything we can help, help you with right now? And then uh, get down to the specifics. Hey, how about your lawnmower ready to go this year? Have you got your snowblower put away? How about your gutters? They need to be cleaned up. Something to do some of the spring cleaning and take that off their, uh, off their mind for them so that they can enjoy the summer based upon, uh, originally we were supposed to be home, as I said earlier. Now we got extended and uh, I think a little bit of effort like that could help. I'm asking that you contact a, a family member that you know personally and offer your assistance and guidance out to them on that matter. Uh, throughout this whole deployment, uh, originally we were scheduled for the 18-month deployment and the uh, morale of the soldiers has always been very high. Uh, they've gone out there and put 110% into everything they've, they've uh, been asked to do, tasked to do, and ordered to do. The uh, extension, when it came to us and hit us, yeah, it was a morale uh, factor that went downhill right off the bat, but we hurry up and picked up and, and continued on with the mission have gone forward from there. The morale has come back once we pass that point of no return. We're looking at our downhill slide now of approximately another 100 days and we should be out of this country, hopefully. And uh, so the morale has come back there. Everybody's still doing their mission. They're continuing to do their mission and they will continue to do it all the way through until we get home back on ground in Minnesota. I believe that the uh, association is, needs to continue. We need to continue to ask our soldiers to become a member and explain to them the, the assets that we can give to them and what the membership does for the soldier in itself. I think now is a prime time for soldiers that are especially deployed that uh, have the ability to get tax-free money that should be able to pay for a life membership at this time and uh, go forward from there. Get it over with, get it done with, and, and let's go on so we don't have to ask you next year. For those back home, uh, $12 for a year or $24 depending on your rank is a minimal cost to ask you to become a member of the Minnesota National Guard Association. And uh, to guard, you need to continue to go out there and look for things that you can do for the soldiers, no matter what ranks. And look throughout the whole state. Let's not focus right into the Minnesota or Minneapolis, St. Paul area. Let's go for opportunities and benefits out there for discounts of certain things in different areas or options that the soldiers can have for uh, their own benefit rather than having to go to the Minneapolis, St. Paul area. All right, I want to say thanks uh, again for giving me the opportunity to address the, the conference this year. And uh, we will see you when we get home approximately another 100, 110 days from now. And continue to take care of our families back there. That's the main thing. And uh, always say thanks to that vet you see on the road. Thank you.